Oh do here I am once again. I'd very much like you to pay attention to this thing going on here, boy. You see? All right, here we're going on. This is a simulation of what is happening at the back in the bee yard. So let's assume that this is a complete hive, right? I want to show you something on the bottom board. So we take off this weight that cover in the top cover. And this is your top cover here. Your top cover could be anything, you know. Once it causing no rain to go down inside the box, you're good to go, right? So you take off that as the top cover. You have the inner cover here, right? You take off the inner cover. And what you have is the, this brood, the super, right? The super, well, right now I don't have any frames in it, but it's just a simulation, eh? So bear with me. You take off the super, right? And then you have the queen excluder. You take off the queen excluder and you have all the frames down inside here, assuming that this is a brood box. Right now this is just a super, but the brood box, you know, much bigger. All my brood boxes down in the back there are occupied. So in this simulation, you have your brood box and you have all your frames. This is the wax that I make from the the wax foundation that I make from the, the wax that I collected from the colonies as time go by. But the thing about it is, it's the bottom board I want to show you. This is the bottom board here. And this is what the bees do. Usually, and the bottom board, right? Check this out. You see all them things, them little bump you see in there? Looking like an alien landscape now. Right? Yeah, man. And they have it, they have it um, in place, situated in a certain spot on the bottom board. What they do with this is, they use it as a ladder to go up onto the frames. Because when they come up here, the distance between here to go up on the frame is a little bit too high for them now. It's like a little tall. So let's say for instance, the frame is like, is like here, right watch. You see that? frame is like here. The bees cannot walk up on top there. So they make this ladder. You see that what? If the frame is like that, it, they don't have to walk up quite there now. Right? They could just walk up on the ladder here and then go up on the frame easily. Right? So that is what they make these things for. It's a ladder to get up onto the, the frame so they could deposit their catch. Also, it is placed in certain positions so that when the, when the worker bees pull air inside, it will channel through all these different um, chambers here to go in different parts of the hive, in the, where the, uh, the brood is, to make sure that the, uh, the hive is properly ventilated. So you see, that is, that is very important. So when you see these things down inside your, your colony like that, you know, you don't, don't dig it off, you know. You leave it there. Yeah. That is very, very important. You see, they'll be able now to climb up on top here, right? And get up, and get up onto the frame easily, right? So that is what I wanted to show you. Yeah, man, today is a nice, bright day, boy. Man, I enjoyed myself. I went by the bees just now, and not one of them tried to sting me. They were just a little curious now to know what is I doing and thing. Yeah, I also give them some water, and now that the water company put back water, my fountain is able to function good as ever. So I just reassembled that. You see that, that one over there? That is a nook. Now, let, me, let me show you. Let me show you this nook. This nook have a special role to play when you're making up splits. Right? This is only a two frame nook. Right? So this is regular plyboard that is made to accommodate two frames. Right? And you have it spaced out like that. So that if you have queen cells on a frame, you know you space it out a little more. So that the um, you see onto the left here. You're making sure you leave others enough bee space now. And if you have the, the queen cell in any one of these frames here, you could always um, 
leave a little space so it wouldn't jam up the the queen cell and just cause it to get damaged or anything All right so this is a this is a deep box if you notice this one is deeper than that one All right this one is shorter so this is the super so when you're making your two frame nook uh, you're making your splits you could do it like this you could make your own box All right and you have your cover right and you cover it up there it have a lot of bees inside it it have um, a frame with honey and pollen lava and eggs and sufficient bees emerging bees emerging bees from the cell and you're good to go yeah man so you could make up a couple of these depends on how much you need so if you need to requeen at any time you have the queen there so you just have to unite that that nook with the hive that you want to replace the queen in or you could put the queen in a cage and you know put her in all that kind of scenario we have all kind of thing you want to do you could do it with bees man so you see i tell you there is a lot of fun and this is just part of it so we're looking forward to see you coming and looking at this website again right don't forget that thumbs up is very important like share subscribe Ring that bell icon so all the new ones will come to you. And this is a new one. We only now getting started, man. The rainy season is, is here, but we have a nice bright day today. Like I say, today is the 6th of June, 2019. Nice Thursday evening is about two o'clock now. And look, nice, 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 nice. We enjoying myself, man. The bees too. As you see, they was washing or scrubbing the entrance. So whatever they're getting out there, they want to make sure they keep it and it's secure. So therefore, folks, it's a plum pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege to share this video with you and to even make the video. So thanks for watching, TTFN. Oh, you like my design, boy? My design on the ground, check it out. Yeah, man, everything hexagon. <laughs> All right, later.